Hello, this is Zombie Paper, and this is going to be the part two to the part one of the OBS, um, I forget what I call it exactly, the OBS cleanup. Uh, the, the first one was part one of two, and uh, so Google Chrome uh, over here was going to be gracious enough to get us halfway there to show you that video exactly, because uh, I believe that this video here is one that you know you can you can probably consider this like mostly a standalone video. However, I did plan basically these two to be separate. Um, like I did put them separately, um, but I did kind of plan for them to be both. Um, you know you. Uh, one. So here is, uh, I guess I'll show you the behind the scenes. So here's the uh, cleanup one of two. Uh, maybe I'll change the title up, uh, do some other stuff with it. But uh, this one right here, this right here uh, is part one. So um, I have it scheduled for a few days out um, from today when this one's going to publish. So uh, that is my kind of like, uh, I guess my minute, a uh, little bit of ramble about, uh, go check out that one first. Um, because then uh, I don't have to re-explain a whole lot of this uh, context about, uh, you know, the OBS tunnel, all, all that kind of good stuff. So um, as I was going, I, I did the recording, I took a break, slept, took a nap, uh, relaxed a little bit. Uh, I figured out my posture, uh, my neck was uh, stiff, and so now I'm back um, for part two here. So part two um, is where we're going to uh, finish clean up the rest of this, uh, because this is going to be the main, let's let's go ahead and do this. So this is the main scene that, that um, I would say a majority of what I do in OBS takes place in. So this is a good like behind the scenes. You get to see the the madness and all that kind of stuff that is the zombie paper experience here. Um, we have the break ones. Uh, I I built this one live, so you can see that one. Um, it's got the uh, it's got the little zombie paper hanging out. This one here. So go check that one out uh, if you want to go see how I did that. Um, then I have the raid one here. Um, I feel I feel okay about this. I feel like um, actually. So I was uh, I was I I posted in Z Discord and brainstorming, uh, broadcasting brainstorming or however however that goes. Uh, and I asked about I, I mentioned kind of what I've been uh, thinking about and I've been thinking about how I can change this up a bit. So having gone through that kind of thinking right now, what I'd like to do is I'd like to go ahead and uh, add in the screen that I had over here. But it's going to be a little different. So um, it'll be like it will be specific for like a monitor like this, but then it's going to be specifically to show um, who rate us kind of a thing is, is what I'm kind of imagining. Um, but now that I'm thinking about it, um, I want it to be a little different. So we're might, we're going to, we're going to try this out here really quick. Um, display capture. And then this is going to be, so you got like, Hydration left. <laughs> uh, you got game capture. So see, this is the need to have uh, good, good. Um, how do you phrase it? Good names that makes sense. Um, and then we'll have a monitor here. Um, yeah, we'll just call it uh, capture or monitor. And so it starts off with primary, so good thing I maximized everything there. So let's go uh, secondary. And whoa-wee. 
Look at that tunnel go. Look at that. This is like straight out of the 90s. You got, you have this kind of effect going, like we're, uh, we're traveling through space and time, uh, and then you got the little bit of a delay there um, because of how fast I go through space and time. Uh, rad, huh? Um, so that happens when that gets too big, so let's uh, make that smaller. Uh, because what I was thinking here was that should be good. So, okay on that. Um, let's throw this in here. Because everything here pretty much, it, it it's good enough. You know, we don't need to be perfect with it. Uh, check the background on this. Transform edits. That's all good. Lock that down. Even though I do see a little bit... Okay, I thought that was, uh, that was one pixel off. But this is just... You know, you you look at stuff enough, you see, like, that might be one pixel off. That didn't seem like it, but that's just kind of how it, how, it, uh, how it shakes out there. So, or how the, uh, uh, how do I phrase it? So, yeah, I mean, I thought it looked like that, but not really. Um, let's see here. This I'm noticing properties. That's in theater. And a raid. Uh, so it's right over here. So something I'm noticing over here is that there's a little bit extra space over here. So let's go fix that right now. Easiest way is to just kind of go in and rotate, rotate again, and then copy that. Um, actually, I'll do this so that way I have a good reference point. Like so. Then, for whatever reason, that was uh, that was acting a little bit weird there. Like, a little bit too much space there. Now, it's fixed. So, cool on that. Um, I don't remember how big this is for transforming size, so make that a little smaller. Um, and what I want to do is I want to have this, this, uh, custom, you know, I want to have this kind of smaller monitor, if you will. So that way I can show, show on the screen, you know, we can take a quick visual of like, who's rain us, if we feel like it, that sort of a thing. So yeah, let's, let's kind of figure out a way to make that work. So. Um, and then, then we'll get back to the main one, but this is all kind of like part of the same, uh, you know, teaching, teaching how I do stuff. Sometimes, uh, my brain kind of just pops all over the place kind of a thing. So let's see, uh, might as well put it in the center here. So. That way we have a little bit of detailing and all that kind of stuff. Um, bah, bah. It's like if I do it off to the side, I get more space. Yeah. Then I just have to rearrange everything a little bit. So uh, I don't mind that. Well, let's go see. Because the Welcome Raiders can go, so I could edit it, like I could make it down to, to uh, two, do I even really want it? Let's just minimize that and put it away for the moment, because uh, we can go with the welcome message. Yeah, yeah, that might be okay. Um, Let's make the monitor just a little bit bigger. And that way we can kind of go and have like a, a brief little chat area. Um, so that way, uh, you know, we can kind of celebrate the raid a little bit more. Um, it's kind of something that I think about at, after I get raided or these sorts of things about like, how can I make it more appealing and interesting for folks? Um, 
sometimes I even forget about the raid um, screen. So that, <laughs> how do I make it so I remember that too? Uh, that is a good question. <laughs> uh, let's see. Because the idea is like, I want to I wanna make it so it's clear for those that may be, uh, I would say watch an ad, but uh, <laughs> guess what? That's not happening on Twitch, so haha. I've I've done it. I've done the thing. So yeah. Um, let's see. Let's make this two. Yeah, I think something like this is good. Just enough of a monitor setup so that way we can. Uh, you know, I can kind of be like, oh, hey, here's 3up Moon. Uh, here's some stuff about 3up Moon or whatever. 3up Moon was the last person who raided uh, during the one shot um, uh, toward the end. So it was like, uh, <laughs> I, did a, I did a thing. I'll kind of show what I did. So imagine, imagine that the spoiler is featured right here. So, that, you know, we were playing one shot. We were toward the very end. So there was a big... Big old kind of spoiler section coming up, but it was just enough where it was like, uh, hey, all you raiders, if you want to play this game, uh, go ahead and leave. Um, so then what I did was, uh, so like the zombie paper smiles, the spoiler, I was like, oh, hey, uh, so yeah, let's go, you know, talk about, uh, hey, yeah, just so everyone knows. <laughs> and I, I honestly think that's the best way to go with uh, if you respect your audience that's a good way to go that i respect i respect the raid um i respect that three up sent sent the audience my way uh three up could have went in many different other directions but went to my direction instead so that's why i was like yeah you know if uh if you want to check out this game uh feel free to to dip out and and 3up was uh, on board um, because 3up wanted to check out the game, liked the music, so it's like uh, <laughs> uh, I succeeded there. But uh, you know, you, you don't think about that in the moment. You think of like, ah, oh, I gotta like be as entertaining as possible. It's like, no, you're there. Your role as the entertainer is to be as cordial to your audience as possible and not waste their time. So part of that is to say, you know, hey, uh, if you're going to hang out here, let's go one, two, three, four, five. Oh, let's try this again. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah. So it's like, you know, I, I don't know. I've never been raided during uh, end game gameplay before. So I don't know how other people act but i figured for me it's like ah uh, let's not uh let's not ruin anyone's day here cuz you know you 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 pick a spot and you want to hang out there uh and that's kind of the the thing of like you you uh channel flip you channel flip until you get the right spot and then you're like okay i'm in i'm settled in i'm going to eat dinner or whatever um so channel flipping and then finding out like oh this is the end of the game that i wanted to play maybe in a few years like uh i wouldn't be too happy about that so i think i think something like this adding in uh adding in a monitor like this is a good way to uh you know kind of highlight raiders and and also like in case in case there isn't anything in case this in case there is no spoiler then that's a good way to kind of highlight that so uh let's lock that all down um let's call this uh, group i believe that the format was raid and then i have the the hidden super secret stuff over here that uh, uh i can't i will not be showing you because that's uh uh, that's all part of the uh, the fun of this that you you can see what I'm doing for a vast majority of this, but some of this, you know, kind of have a little bit of fun with it, right? So 
Let me show you what that will look like without the group layer being on. So uh, one moment while I show you. So yeah, that's kind of cool. And uh, this is the advanced course. So this is the, the part in OBS that, uh, you know, you've gone through and let's see, this should open up on my side, not yours. Yeah. So you've gone through and you've, you've established yourself as a competent um, practitioner of the OBS perspective that you can kind of figure out your way around this program. So figuring out how I did all of this is a really good way to, to practice that and to, to fully understand what it is that this is all about. Um, yeah, so definitely, definitely, uh, this is, uh, this is possible without any weird plugins or anything like that, without any kind of weird, um, payment options or anything like that. It's all just kind of standard stuff. Um, but, uh, I leave it up to you to figure it out. So. That's my homework to you is uh, I've given you a lot of tools, but I'm not going to give you everything. And uh, that, I believe, is a good way to give you a little bit more by, I don't know, like kind of showing like there's a lot more to it than just uh, what meets the eye. But a lot of it is like you have to practice, you have to try, you have to put in a little bit of effort and... Uh, then eventually you can find some weird stuff that feels pretty cool. Um, let's see here. So very similarly here. Um, yeah, let's uh, let's not do too much there. So there we are. So we got the light show going on there. And so that might be for more extensive kind of maybe if maybe if I get a big raid and there are a bunch of people there and then uh, you know a bunch of new folks a lot of people that raid me they know me so uh, no need for a light show but for the other folks it's it's fun um, so yeah what I want to do here too is I want to do uh, clean this up a bit more so let's uh, bring that all back because uh, tomorrow is going to be this podcast episode so that's going to be my focus for right now. And so last we went through, we we as an I, but you as the watcher, um, saw all of this. So saw the topics, saw me kind of reorganize everything here. And so that all feels pretty good for me. Um, so we're just going to go ahead and do the next round here of the hosts. So what I'll do is I was thinking a little bit about this, about how I want to arrange this. So you may have seen the list of folks that were in the uh, in the folder before um, of like previous guests, upcoming guests or, or whatnot. Um, I want to try to do something a little bit more, uh, strip back, if you will. So, like, uh, right now, um, uh, let's give an example here. Like, uh, tomorrow I'll be, uh, I'll be working with Bella on the podcast, you know, where, as, you know, working as in like, uh, Bella will be broadcasting. I will be broadcasting. The way that we're going to be doing it probably is uh, same as last time with the... Oh, sorry about breathing in the mic there. So me uh, doing like a, a screen, cap screen capture like this and doing so in a way where I might be just watching Bella's broadcast, looking at my broadcast chat, seeing that over here, and just being like a, per se, like a moderator. Uh, moderating as in like, um, kind of like checking to make sure that every 
all the messages are going through, everything looks all right, um, that sort of a thing. So while Bella crafts, the only difference on Bella's side is that there's me talking in OBS. Otherwise, it's the same as same as any other broadcast for Bella. So there'd be no purpose in deleting all of that just to rebuild it tomorrow. But uh, say for example, like uh, Silverstorm and I, we don't have any current plans to uh, to have like a, a upcoming podcast. We, we've been kind of uh, putzing around the idea of doing a art, either a podcast or something related to art. Um, so that's kind of like our, our next plan but we don't have anything solid yet. We don't have like a specific like, yeah, this is what we're gonna do. We're gonna go do that. And it's gonna be rad and all that kind of stuff. Um, so yeah, you know, it's something that uh, when when you, when you try stuff like that, you consider um, what makes the most sense. And for me, the most sense is to uh, basically if, if there are no plans in the next, you know, two, three weeks, something like that, then uh, remove the assets and go re-add them back in because by then I might have a different plan already on how I load in the assets and all that. So it makes sense to me to, to do a little bit different like that and to uh, have it so it's not as, uh, not everything is loaded um, cause it's like, it'd be one thing if I could load in a thousand assets and not have it weigh down OBS in the slightest. Um, but the way it's been, so it's still at 2.2 gigs from last time. Um, so there's something weighing down OBS. I don't know what it is. Um, it used to be a lot more polite to me, but for some reason it, uh, over the past week, it's been kind of stuck at that uh, in the 2.2 gig. So, uh, you know, we've got to figure that out at some point. And I think I think reducing some of these uh, assets down will help. But I also use a lot of them. Um, so I would just say, like, I won't be... Uh, I'll be removing the ones that I'm not going to immediately be using. And so how I'm going to do that is I have... Uh, in the theater folder, I have a podcast text document. And what I'll be doing is uh, basically going in and so like have like a, so I like the way I kind of arranged it where it's like instead of Silverstorm, it's Silverstorm's this number there, uh, 9653. So I want to do like uh, put in like the, the big thing is like having this information here. So that way I can refer to it. So I don't need to have the asset specifically, um, which I use this one on the MDD and anxiety uh, podcasts. So obviously like it's good to mix it up and do something more lighthearted. Um, but uh, as far as stuff like this, you know, to make sure that I have, I have the information. I don't need to go research it and find it. Um, also to get the colors yeah, so that sort of a thing. That's kind of what my game plan is to, to clean things up a little bit. So it's not going to be super cluttered. <laughs> I mean, like, who are we kidding? <laughs> uh, this is this is only paper, so you got you got it cluttered. Um, but yeah, I think something like that's going to be good. So let's see. Okay, so. Because I can add in, I can add in the rest of this stuff here. So I'll go remove. And same with Dan there. So Dan Tanyan is, uh, I'm going to be planning, like we're, we're thinking about the next podcast. Uh, the, uh, the one on, uh, we've been doing like self-care stuff. Um, it's turned out very well. Um, people enjoy it. Uh, Dan's community enjoys it, um, but uh, uh, we we try about like once a month. It turns out to be more like once every two months or something, two, three months. Um, so we have one we're thinking about, uh, but we just got to like 
you got to start coordinating it a little bit. Uh, got to, got to, got to ask him a little bit. Uh, so we have the cuppa there. Dan was the one that originated the whole idea of like the sip with the cup. So that was a really cool kind of like, hey, you know, that, that was a really good idea. So I'm happy to to be rolling with it. So I have that color. So there's that. So Eddie and myself, not currently. We don't have any current plans. Uh, we've been doing the, I've been guesting on Eddie's broadcast for Earthbound stuff. Um, so that's been my kind of, you know, our collaboration has been like that. Um, that being said, let's think for a second here. So if, if I, so like the, the uh, shirt stuff, that, that's all like, that's all on me. I'm not going to invite Eddie in, um, because I just need to get it all done. So doing something like this here helps, helps out with the process, but, uh, yeah, I can always add, add in Eddie's stuff later. So let's, let's go get rid of Eddie's stuff because, you know, like I say, like if, if he's not going to be on for a month, then let's, uh, let's remove the, the, uh, the assets, not out of any sort of negativity, but out of just, you know, respect for the OBS software kind of, uh, sluggishness kind of a thing. And maybe in the new version, uh, maybe in OBS on, on Windows 10 on my new laptop, maybe it'll be perfect. Maybe I'll, I can have thousands of assets rolling. I, I don't know, but, uh, <laughs> it, it's a little bit, it's a little bit like, uh, come on kind of a thing. So Idy and myself, we are thinking of doing, um, a podcast on moderation part two. So the moderation part two would be one where we were talking about like uh, Twitch moderation, Discord moderation. Uh, that's going to tie in with the rules. So that would be a, be a one that uh, I have over. Where is it? Oh, the writer talk one. So the writer talk is currently about Z discords, Z rules to update all of those. So that's kind of the plan there. Um, so, so far so good there. Um, Josh and myself are planning um, one about, uh, one second. Okay, I'm back. Uh, <laughs> my my throat just needed. Uh, that that shows I took a break, right? That uh, <laughs> my throat needed to warm up, and then needed uh, to cough out a whole bunch of stuff. Uh, so we're planning maybe about education, maybe about some other stuff. Uh, so it's just a matter of coordination, planning, that kind of a thing. So uh, we're still on the docket here. Um, so let's see. Limpamo and myself, yeah, we have, uh, we have, uh, maybe by the time you're listening to this, we've already recorded it, um, but we have, uh, two lined up this week, we have one for Death of the Author, and then one for One Shot, um, let's see the calendar here, so, um, I believe that this one is scheduled for the 18th. As I recall, the 16th is part one, then part two is this one. So you could have seen both of these uh, recorded 
Uh, I'm recording this on uh, in 2021 in November on the 11th, uh, which is uh, Veterans Day. Um, so, you know, let's go ahead and do this. So this is a nice way for me to at a glance kind of see what I did each day. Um, then I delete it when I'm all done. It's all, you know, it's kind of like, it's fun, but uh, got to move on kind of a thing. So I might... I kind of feel like I want to I want to have a little bit of like a, a rest period. So um tomorrow we have the podcast in the in the afternoon Eddie and I I'll be joining Eddie's broadcast. So that's easy for you know just crowd control doing my doing my earthbound uh hanging at, like walk through guidance and then also hang out with my friend so you know good good chance to hang out and and all that kind of stuff uh so i feel like two days uh because i do want to do uh do the geography drawing and hanging out uh, those tend to be fun and easy uh that sort of a thing death of the author day off one shot day off uh eclipse podcast general kind of uh, stuff with Bella Beluga, uh, so we're planning typically on Tuesdays, but then Bella had something come up on Tuesday, so I was like, yeah, let's go rearrange stuff. Uh, same for on the Saturdays, and then, uh, yeah, we'll find out uh, about, like, healthcare stuff. Uh, I should find out by Wednesday, if I don't find out sooner than I call and schedule so probably something like this week um i'll be doing like the injection kind of stuff for uh uh sorry for uh, a little bit of content warning there maybe but uh uh for for getting my my uh healthcare stuff sorted out so yeah there's that um <laughs> i forget content warning stuff sometimes but that that should be minor that shouldn't be too bad um Make a quick note here, just in case. Uh, just to be polite. So two of two, and then uh, content warning. What is that? Thirty minutes in. Uh, I mentioned healthcare stuff. I need to do some upcoming healthcare stuff. Uh, some business um i think i think it's it's yeah i i think it's uh good to be careful but not not let it weigh me down too much so just having that note there should be fine um i don't need to put up the constant warning stuff like that uh so yeah we have that and then Josh and Lim Pambo and myself are doing some music stuff. Um, I've been, I've been lacking, laxing on that, so, or haven't been working on that. So uh, we just kind of figure it all out. It's okay. Um, let's lock these down so I don't move them around by mistake. Let's see where this all is. Okay, so this one's all over the place as well. Um. Yeah, okay. Um so first of all that's probably okay like that. Um cuz it, it's kind of fun to have the the second one going like that. So I think that'll be cool. Um And then we have the curtains. Ah, okay. So the curtains are here. So maybe that's where the grouping is. So let's go take a look at the Chaos Theater. Um, I thought about putting these numbers in the show notes and I was like, eh, you know, it's, you don't really need it too much. So we have 380, 560, 560, 162, hmm. Did I? I think I updated this. So, yeah. 
Okay. Um. Yeah, I'll get back to the art side of it next after I do the podcast stuff. So that's that'll be fine. Um, group podcast. That's an okay order. So these ones we'll call get host and then dot dot and then this so that way we'll do each layer we'll kind of see what what's up with each one okay uh, so the curtains here this is where I'll do the transform edits and so this one is the 360 or 380 and then that's going to be 560 um, that already looks a little bit weird, but let's find out. So, and this is 160. Yeah. Why does that look weird? Ah, I, I know what's up. I know what is happening here. So that was because when I did, I did the math based on the, everything there. Um, so all the red carpet from part one that uh, hopefully like I say like I don't I don't uh, the only thing I would say in general like I don't I don't I don't encourage people to watch everything but I do encourage you to watch the part ones before the part twos generally speaking there's a reason for that and that's so that way I don't have to re-explain the wheel every time. Uh, <laughs> these videos already get kind of long. Uh, so that's the only thing that I say is like, um, so yeah, um, easy fix though, easy fix. So we have, we basically go in and go 380 and just kind of see, see that through to 380. There we go. And so that was 214. So now there's no difference there, which is good. Let's zoom in a little bit and let's do proof of concept there. So no difference there. And the best way to show that is to go in with a new layer. We'll go with the Zolling Paper Hydration uh, one. And we'll have that underneath. So move that over. Then the idea would be, uh, so we were planning this with uh, with one guest that was going to be late. And so I was like, yeah, sure, you know, no worries, you can be late. Um, I'll do a little animation of you arriving late, um, you know, just so that way you're not you're not concerned. But uh, we'll we'll basically drop you in, kind of like go in through here and pop in. So the guests ended up figuring out how to get on time, so that didn't really happen. Um, I do feel kind of, uh, I hope I didn't uh, coerce the person too much into changing schedules around. But, uh, you know, it, it was like, I was like, hey, like, 100% cool. Like, <laughs> it, you, you got a life. Uh, I, I respect that. Uh, so, you know, I'm just going to wing it. I'm going to figure out an option to where you don't feel guilty about being late. Um, well, let's put zombie paper over here. Uh, but uh, that way we can keep the show rolling uh, as well. So it worked out well there. I'm happy with the results. Uh, even if, like I say, even if I'm kind of kind of concerned that I was like, ah, you know, we're still going to roll. But honestly... I have found that in life, uh, so this what this wasn't going to be the case with this person, right? Let's just kind of be upfront there. Curtains. Oh, is that how I spell it? Uh, let's uh, let's do the etymology business here. Uh, where are you etymology? Okay, here you go. So this person. I have found is not someone that um, would be like taking advantage of stuff like that. But some people, they do. So some people, you give them 10 minutes, you're going to be 20 minutes late kind of a thing. Um, 
And here's Curtin's uh, hanging screen of textile fabric from Curtin. Oh, Courtine from all of this. So Courts, door. Ah, so it could have been something like courtroom kind of a thing, like to go out to a court because uh, of a heavy, of a hung cloth. That's kind of neat. Uh, so not just a definition, but kind of a contextual explanation. Good stuff there. So... Yeah, like, some people, you know, it's just like, yeah, like, it's okay to be late. You know, we'll just start without you. Um, pop in whenever. Don't feel weird. Um, kind of a thing. Like, don't be, don't feel weird about being late. Um, then for the folks that do show up late, it's not, you know, they're, they're cool. They're, they're cool for, like, um, you know, it's cool to be late. Uh, I'm not worried, but we can also do, we don't have to wait so long kind of a thing so it works out pretty well um yeah so oh uh, that's kind of my trick for like doing podcast stuff with guests of like you know like be flexible don't don't be a jerk about stuff but also do the boundary stuff too to say like you know i do want to do a broadcast i do want to like have a set time so if we're going to be late if you or I are going to be late or anyone else, then you know, just kind of heads up is, is cool. Um, and that's also, too, that's why I'm doing these kind of backup VODs and doing a lot of this stuff offline is so that way, uh, worst case, so let's say everything just kind of goes to shit with the situation. It's like, all right, cool, I got a backup. Uh, so I just have that uploaded. Uh, I just, uh, you know, let's say... Uh, uh <sighs> sorry for that weird tone um because i don't want to call out anyone so let's say on the 25th let's say i'm doing like every everything kind of works out and then i have like a podcast scheduled on the 25th so uh with some new person someone we don't you don't know someone i i'm just mean and then last minute they bail so It'd be enough where it's like, eh, I don't really feel like doing a podcast. Uh, I don't really know what else to do. That was kind of my thing for the day. So instead, you know, I was like, oh, okay, I was going to do like a, an offline. Uh, I was going to do an offline recording published on the 26th, take the day off. So it's like, okay, instead I'll do that. Instead I'll do uh, shift that around, take the day off. Just say like, yeah, you know, uh, no, I we're not uh, we're not able to to podcast no big reason but uh, here's a video I'm gonna go like sleep or whatever uh, that sort of a thing and I think that's a good way to go I think that's a good responsible way to uh, you know, keep the show rolling kind of a thing so we have uh, I want to figure out a way to make that look about as sharp as it can be uh, I like that I like the idea of having this rotate through. Uh, let me show how this all works here too. Um, so this is a uh, group image. So it's a uh, image slide show. And then this is under properties. So always play even when not visible. Uh, let's pause when not visible unpause when visible okay yeah so okay we have that one it looked like the the uh, adventure time character so then i wonder i wonder wonder did that help reduce the memory down just a little bit there just a little bit so that could be i I don't need it to be rolling all the time, so that could be really helpful. So let's see here too. Uh, we have these assets that so uh, when you when you select a slideshow, I guess it doesn't let you unload the image, but uh, there we go. We've unloaded the images. Uh, let's see. 
did help not a whole lot um so it it's like kind of hunting for the uh the ram stealer but uh anyways properties um transition it will kind of leave it as the fade i could do the cut or the swipe or the slide but the fade is the best way to kind of keep it so it doesn't uh doesn't show the red in the background kind of keeps like that yeah that feels better so you can change the transition speed and time but basically uh all of these exist in a folder that uh, i built uh uh for our previous podcast and i think that's a good way to to go um so this um I don't know, it wasn't terribly difficult for me, so I don't know. I could kind of show some of the details on that. So image slideshow, um, it looks like I have a few here, podcast. Yeah, the logo, that's another one here too that I could uh, check on. Properties, pause when not visible. And then there was the Forte Club rolling. So I wonder if these three were rolling all at the same time. So let's find out. Not it's the same. So that's good, you know, to to look at stuff like that. Not not be terribly obsessed over stuff, but just kind of looking to see. So when you go add in image slideshow, then this is where you can put in the details, put in the files or directories. You can add in more. Um, that's what I did with the uh, the last one when I did when I had the logo down there. I did that one, so I don't need this. So let's go remove it. Um, yeah, so that works out pretty well there. Um, let's see. So we have. I don't think I really need, I can lock it all down. So I can lock it all down for those. Um, let's go rename the rest here. because so I feel pretty good about the rest of those. I feel pretty good about uh, how, uh, what was it? Uh, I feel pretty good about, um, ba -ba -ba, ba -da -da -da. Uh, forget the words, forget, Forget how to speak. Um, I feel pretty good about whatever it is I feel pretty good about. I've forgotten now. Um, properties, unload image. So like I say, because I'll be collaborating with Itty here in the near future, I want to uh, get all that going. Um, Okay, there's that one, copy it and duplicate it. So that way I can go itty name, move that down. Itty has kind of an approach in life that I appreciate uh, where they don't like uh, self promo too much. Um, so I, I won't be doing a whole lot of that. Um, it's like you you got to know who the person is that's talking um but i won't be putting like uh their uh their twitch page or anything like that so uh background color is going to be yellow and then blue um yeah i think something like that's okay um let's just kind of i guess we have to do a little bit of this so let's might as well do that right now. Um, so that way everything's organized for next time. Um, so we'll see. This needs to go transform reset. Uh, basically, whenever I copy in new new text, um, the I already know that uh, the... The, um, ba, 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 I already know that the text is going to need to be reset uh, because of how uh, how good OBS is, uh, not sponsored. Uh, 
but uh, I'm fortunate that uh, that's out there. But uh, I wish the program were a little, a uh, little more, I don't know, logical, a little bit more sane, that sort of a thing. So, got all that. I, uh, I'll lock them down if I don't need them right away. We got, uh, we got Josh over here. That all feels pretty good. Limpamo is over here. Um, actually, let's go move Josh over. Because we, when, uh, when we three do a podcast, we'll kind of do something like maybe stacked. Maybe something like this. Uh, I think the, f the second one I did like a stacked, and that worked out pretty well. But the first one I crowded down at the bottom. So... Why don't I just do that as like an implication of like, you know, here's here's Josh over here, then move him up here. That way it's, it's fairly straightforward, fairly easy, just like that. So because of our next podcast here with Lampamo and myself, I don't really see a need to move them around, move, uh, move them like they're at the, the, uh, Pronouns are tough sometimes, uh, especially when you're tired. Um, so I don't need to move these around too much. That as a group feels pretty good there. So let's uh, bring in bring in the rest of these assets here. So that feels pretty good for tomorrow, except um, let me check the URL here. Can make that a little bit darker. As I noticed, like it was like ah, uh, maybe just a little bit darker. For Bella, that looks pretty good. But the idea is just to make it clearer. Uh, maybe I'll even do this here too. Uh, put in capitals so you can see Arachne's market. Like that. Maybe I mean like that way I can show Bella, and then that way Bella can approve deny kind of a thing like that um so there we go that feels pretty good um as far as the pixel sizes um so that looks like two that looks like one two three four so pixel sizes from the bottom i should say i'm not going to be super worried about that but i figured um if i notice it now then I might as well uh, try to see if I can get it just a little bit more in line with maybe uh, myself there. So click there on two, and we'll see how this matches up now. So uh, one, two, one, two. Yeah, that feels better. That feels more lined up. Um, Yeah, so that's all good. Okay. So we have the we have all the podcasting stuff sorted out, which is good. It's good to get get kind of cleaned up, you know, like uh dressing up, kind of cleaning up. This is a uh, the this is probably the the easiest way for me to do all of this too is to show all of this uh rather than just kind of clicking around while I'm uh I don't know while while I'm watching people play games or whatnot, then uh, that's the way to go. So yeah, let's uh, let's see here. Okay. Um. So next we're gonna do the Forte Club. So that one, I wonder, wonder how I want to do that because it's going to be essentially the same because I have the same. Uh, I I relied on the overlay a little bit there, but uh, you know, like I was saying before, that's because uh, I thought um, that'd be more of like a podcast style, but uh, it ended up taking way too long. <laughs> so you know, it's something you learn. Um, 
let's see here. Just doing some thinking stuff. Um, ba -ba. Yeah. Okay, so there's uh, there is next going to be this right here. So um, when I do more upcoming ones, I want to have like a or how how can I phrase it? Uh, so set color. Uh, this one's orange. Let's go back in to set color, custom. Copy that. Put that in. Set color, custom. So I want to have this available all times. Uh, the conundrum I have is about what happens if I have an art podcast. Well, then uh, I'll put it. I'll put it probably down here or something like that. Um, so I don't know. I don't think I have a really big need to have it in the in the grouping. Um, which let's go ahead and rename that to dash there. Um, and then let's do uh, content warning dash. So that might be part of the CYA group later on, but I don't know at this point. So uh, let's uh, let's go through and let's clean this all up here. Um, I'll make a note here for that uh, color, even though it's FF0 and then, or FF8 zeros, but uh, this way I can kind of have a general game plan go and general flow. Um, and we're going to go with Forte dash dash space, that kind of a thing. Keeping with that same format. And then I'll go in and undo all of these just so that way you can see each layer as it's applied. Um, so we have the rough draft there. This one figure is good just to kind of like have as a as a uh, um as a as an intermediary for the logo there because that way like it, we don't really need to see the logo instead of the Forte Club there so I think that works out um, let's see this one was the rotating one so we'll call that uh, rotating. This one's here. This is the mad note. So we'll put that in. Got the not sponsored note there. So we'll put in knots and S instead. Um, and then what do we have? We have the URL covering up the rest of the logo there. So that works out. Um, because that way it's fully covering everything related to that. Um, so I did have like solo down here, but then I don't know. I kind of kind of want to mix it up just slightly more since we're uh, we have the space, we have the uh, the time to do this right, and it's really not terrible. I might I might just leave the solo off there. Uh, and what I mean is like, oh, I gotta do undo that one. Maybe I'll put the controllers down here, so that way we can kind of see the progress going. Maybe not like that, but maybe like this. So, yeah, something like this might be cool. Now I wonder if I should chroma key out the the black there. Um, let's see. That's Forte Club. And that is the first controller here. There we are. And so when we did the filter chroma key. That one maybe should be blue instead. And then I just got to paint this in as blue. And then do some more blue there and blue. So we, we can kind of we can kind of roll from there and see uh, see what that all looks like. 
because that way we have a more efficient chroma keying. Yeah. I think something like that might be pretty good. Because the... Uh, you know, I don't look at numbers other than like, you know, what what kind of uh, kind of got popular. So that way I might might not maybe not like emulate, but at least kind of see like, uh, people liked seeing the detail on the thumbnail for the uh, when I worked on the controller. So the content, like I put in a content warning. Even I said like this is going to be a rant about healthcare stuff. I only really worked on the on the controller for a portion of that but that uh, that video got a lot of views so i was like wow uh, <laughs> i guess uh thumbnails are pretty cool so you know here we have we have a little bit more to to show that there is a little bit more work to do but i like that i like how that looks so let's pin it all down uh, i don't need to worry too much about the rotating stuff Everything else here is just good information. So let's go ahead and see if that color can get applied. Oh, we got the eight. Yeah, that worked out pretty well there. So got that locked down and that locked it down. Perfect. So what I was thinking here too is um, I'm not gonna add yeah, yeah, same same as the hosts. I don't want to have more assets than needed. But one thing I wanted to add in, which is what I was thinking about earlier, is I want to figure out the exact kind of uh, dimensions here. And then what I want to do... Uh, why is this... Oh, okay. It's OBS. So I wanted to add in, like, for the... Uh, like say like uh, overlay stuff for like the upcoming geography broadcast and other other broadcasts um, I would want to do like a special overlay for for that whole process and then let's uh, let's do a little bit more chroma keying here 350 or 400 let's see 400 yeah so there, that looks pretty good. We'll do uh, okay on that. So my idea going forward is to have less, to have less uh, asset, uh, different assets working than necessary. So having having like the two images per host, go host. And then the two text images, that's cool and fine, but uh, as far as uh, uh, if there are any upcoming, you know, if there aren't any upcoming events, like, uh, I don't want to, I don't want to name people, so let me, let me not name people, um, but uh, yeah, I was just like, ah, I should give examples, and now nah, let me not, so uh if if we don't have any like if we're kind of like planning for it there's no real point in adding in someone's assets to wait have it way down obs but if if we're like yeah it's going to happen next week uh then i'll add them in get that all sorted it'll be nice um yeah that'd be good there then what else um i guess you can see here <laughs> there's that but uh then i don't know i think that should be fine uh you know i can always see that on on the overlay and kind of roll with it from there so let's uh get rid of the forte stuff for now uh the one shot so this is going to be our our final use of this uh, <laughs> uh, this wild uh, set of uh, circumstances here. So let me let me show that here, and let me kind of walk through how confusing it all got. And so this is like Limpam would be down here. Um, so this is this is what 
inspired me to do these two broadcasts is like uh, this is a nightmare to to go through of like which one is this i forget <laughs> so this is the one shot poster uh this is the one shot uh this is the one shot uh keys yeah that'll work and see how um because i thought it was going to be one one shot one day kind of a thing i was like ah this will be easy it's like uh this has been going on for a while uh i i was having a good old time i was having a blast with it but uh you know things you know if you think it's going to be a one time a one shot then you make it different than if it's going to be around for a while so uh limpamo and then we got, this is before I really learned, uh, like, I was like, oh, who's this? Um, so this is Nico. And then here's kind of where you can see, um, I just was like, <laughs> four, 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 five, five, a, five, a, two, five, three, this sort of a thing. So this is kind of wild. So flower. And then I have no idea how I'm going to label these. So gift one. Uh, this 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 hole right here is not really necessary for what I'm doing, but uh, you know, a peace of mind kind of a thing, right? So gift up. This is uh, gift two. So kind of rearrange that a little bit. This is gift three. And then this one here is gift side. This one is gift big. This one is gift four. Yeah, gift four. So gift four, gift five. Even though that's not really in, uh, in order. Uh, like I say, just logical makes more sense. And then this is gift open. And then uh, now what, um, which uh, I made um, now I made as kind of like a fun thing, a, a bit of animation. Um, I did rotation and then uh, kind of went from there. As you can see, I thought I was like, ah, just on the desktop, it'll be fine. Um, it's been there for a while. Um, let's see how long. So now what uh where so i made this october 18 it is november 11 so nearly a month um but uh no no worries no concerns um you know you just state the facts and you say that uh let's see which color is this set color custom apply it to the rest here and you just kind of say like yeah you know i i this is why it's good to do it right the first time because if you do it wrong the first time then you're dealing with the consequences for a while um, <laughs> so let's let's see here uh, one thing i like to do when there are multiple broadcasts in the same kind of thing is i like to move things around a little bit so that way it's just a little different uh, so that's where i'll go in and change this up a little bit and make like the tweets a little smaller maybe move some of the um move some other stuff around i don't know if i really need this anymore this is when there was some there was some twitch news that both of both lumpamo and i wanted to talk about so we kind of did like an impromptu um oh it was the the two-factor authentication disaster fiasco uh Fiasco is a, let, let me take a quick look here at the word fiasco, because I learned this recently. So 1855, I'm learning all this here too. Um, so fiasco is something human made. So a failure in performance, an ignoramus, failure or dismal flop 
So turn out of a failure uh, to literally make a bottle, like a bottleneck, I suppose. So this is something that um, I'm not going to read through all of this or read it all out, but the idea is that uh, there cannot be a natural disaster that is a fiasco. Uh, the the elements of the human mistake is what makes the fiasco different than the disaster. So you have like a natural disaster like a hurricane or uh, something like that, but a fiasco is something of like uh, the uh, Twitch, let's see, two-factor authentication leak. Let's see if, uh, let's see if there's a nice way to show just a brief glimpse of that. Um, let's go to news. <laughs> um, okay, so there's some, uh, You know, it's weird when you read the news, like, um, so I, uh, I worked for a newspaper for a year and a half, um, in IT, but so here, here's Newsweek, um, a, and MSN, uh, you know, as far as news sources go, um, probably not too bad kind of a thing, but, uh, definitely, um, definitely a situation where, um, you know, uh, look look and validate your sources. I mean, I worked at a newspaper, that's what they did. Um, so, you know, having the more reliable of a, a source you can find, and, you know, you can read with subjectivity, you can, you can find the subjectivity, but when it's more like stuff like this, it tends to be more of just like, kind of cut and dry kind of stuff. Um, it, there isn't a whole lot of flavor so Twitchly company issue statement after source code and creator payouts exposed. Twitch has issued a new statement about their internal investigation into a recent hack which saw the live stream platform source code leak online. So I think something like that is like <laughs> it, it happened the day of and it was one of those like if it weren't for Limpamo and I actually doing a, a broadcast, I would have been like, shoot, yeah, let's, uh, you know, let's just chat and talk about all of this. But instead it's like, Limpamo and I are very similarly minded and in regards to like <laughs> uh, things of this nature. So it was a great time to just, you know, shoot the, shoot the metaphorical and literal shit about this and kind of kick the can a little bit in terms of, uh, uh, what this all meant for Twitch as a platform. Uh, let's go look up the idiom for kick the can. Kick the can. Um, let's see. Cultural significance. No, I need to look up uh, kick the can as an idiom so idiom let's see if this works um ba -ba. yeah so definition one is the literal game that is played two is the idiom uh, to postpone or defer a definitive action, decision, or solution, usually by affecting a short-term one instead. So that is not really what uh, what we were doing. Uh, we weren't deferring or otherwise playing a game. Uh, we were just going to comment on it as, as two uh, people that are interested in security-type stuff. So, yeah. Yeah, that all works out pretty well. Um, so when I work on stuff like this, I like to kind of uh, do restructuring kind of processes where what I'll do, that's getting, getting a kind of annoying there. So let's uh, 
put that down there. So we'll go ahead and move all these around. We'll see. Because uh, I don't know. So we're doing the death of the author one. Uh, it looks like next, actually. So which one is that? Yeah, death of the author one is coming up next here. So I don't know what kind of assets we're going to do. Um, I should go ask Lampamo what kind of stuff we want to want to add in there but uh, for one shot here I figure do stuff like this is going to be kind of fun so we'll just kind of move all this around um, got five move that down here gift upside down bring that over there yeah hey because then I want to move got the side because I want to move this around a little bit. I want to kind of see where I can put, uh, we have open. Actually, I got an idea there. So we got we got the gifts of, of one shot that, that I played through. So it's like the gift is already opened um, in that uh, I've completed the game. So, you know, it's symbolically it's open. So, yeah. There's that. I think that'll be a cool thing. So we have uh, side. We have big. And then what I want to do here is I want to move the flower. I want to move that down a little bit. Kind of do one of these. Yeah, let, let's see. So I, I what I like to do is kind of do a little bit of like tongue and cheek screwing around a little bit so um, that's where I put in the flower I put in the earthbound assets because uh, that doesn't work right it's from earthbound not from one shot but <laughs> it's like why not throw in some earthbound stuff just for fun um, so that's why I did that um, yeah so that all looks good and fine um, I think, uh, <laughs> oh, let's go leave the, the gift up there. <laughs> that should be fine. Yeah, actually, let's move this one down here. Nico can hang out a little bit over there. So I didn't do this a whole lot with uh, the Lampamo and myself doing one shot. Uh, broadcasts of like moving everything around a little bit but uh you know i kind of want i i i would say i was inspired after burping in the microphone uh, after doing all of this uh to want to do that more often right to kind of make it make it a fun thing so um sometimes too you get inspiration from just screwing around um so I'll move this around a little bit, and da, 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 yeah, I think that's I think that's fine. So this looks pretty good. I'm happy with all this. So let's go lock it all down. Um, yeah, so let's lock that down. Uh, I'll probably ask Lampamo uh, uh, after the healthcare broadcast so I was thinking of like timing and whatnot um, so we'll remove all of that um, next we have the writer talk writer talk and this is where I was thinking of like the all of these stuff related to uh, having a background kind of a thing is that right now uh, let's go ahead and move all of this into a new folder so we have theater Put this into writer talk and then move over Z Discord. Which one is this? Okay, I was talking to collector, so let's uh, move this over into the writer talk underneath the Forte Club folder. Um, let's call this uh, Z Discord. And as you can probably see over here, 
it's a little blurry. I'm um, not going to lie, that's not really the best look. Uh, especially since uh, I have a better one. Um, I have the original. If I can find it. Where is the original? I thought I had it. Huh. Where did you go? Where did you go indeed? That is... Huh. I thought I did, but I don't. Hmm. I do, I just... I, I, I did the thing again where I put it in the wrong folder. Uh, so I lost it. Uh... Uh, yeah, you know, you know, as you do. So, this is a good example of why it's important to uh, know where all your stuff is and to, to not hide stuff from yourself on purpose or on accident. Because uh, it will bite you. Um, one, two, three, four, five. 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 So why does this not look right? Oh yeah, that's because I want uh, this needs to go 20, this needs to go 20. And uh, so when Collector drew that for me to codify the Z Discord, uh, I got it in a JPEG format, so uh, that, that's fine. Uh, so we'll do, uh, that'll be WT, um, and then that's gonna be a Z. Because I, I imagine that I'm going to do multiple ones, um, kind of formatting-wise. Uh, but well, let's do like that. So Z, and then we'll do Z, Z rule, Z discord. And this is where I'm going to go in and go back into theater, writer talk. And okay, so you see some of this stuff on my, my uh, desktop. Oh, well. Uh, you saw it. Whatever. Um, so this right here, um, let's go ahead and uh, transform, uh, reset. And then uh, because it doesn't fit all the way, I might do something like this. Um, and then you see a little bit of the, uh, the theater cropping up there. Um, I see it too. So let's go ahead and do uh, transform edit. Uh, because before it was uh, 162, so now it's going to be 160, and there's a little bit down at the bottom, but that's okay, um, and that's also going to be where I will move this along, so it disappears, and exit that out, that out. Uh, that'll be uh, wt dash dash z See rules. And then I like the idea of having that kind of structure where it's like uh, the, even if it seems like it's innocent enough, at least kind of have that all sorted. Uh, you see more of that. Uh, I don't know why it keeps on doing that. And then we'll do Z, Z rules. Paste that in. And then um, I want to put in a little bit more spacing down under here. So that way uh, I don't have to go rearranging too much. So one, two, three. Save it. Yeah. So this is how I want to do the writer talk or the non uh, podcast one. So I can, I can kind of do like this. And maybe save a little bit of uh, resources. Let's see. Yeah, it, it knocked it down by an insignificant amount. So that's cool. Um, we can close out Z. And close out this one here. And Z rules. So I'll figure out a good... After I'm done with Z rules here, I'm going to figure out uh, how to uh, have a good standard size. But that's kind of my general game plan for that. And then... Got this one here for WT dash dash 
Uh, that would be, uh, what is this? Uh, zero 08, see rules. Now that comes into play here momentarily. But first I gotta, gotta make the numbers notes here. So what, what is important about that, important about the, uh, the title there is I'm not planning. So like today, uh, how, how does this work? How does my brain, uh, explain this? So earlier today, I was looking at the list of, uh, all of my kind of things that I do. And I was looking, I was thinking, uh, you know, I want to do more writing stuff. I want to do more kind of like get the numbers up in that regard. So, you know, I, like I said, like I'm not interested in the funny numbers, but the numbers I can control, I do, I do think about those. I do think of, you know, what kind of things am I broadcasting out to the world? Those sorts of numbers I care about because, you know, that's, that's what you can change and all that kind of stuff. Um, so I thought of this as like a template and I thought of like, uh, so these are the numbers I was thinking of, uh, over in the pie chart, we have, uh, the numbers of writing versus non-writing right now, uh, you know, we're, we're approaching 70%. That's fine. Um, you know, ideally I'd kind of want it to be a 50, 50. So, Imagine something like this, 100 hours, get that down. So even if I put 90 more hours in, I'm still kind of behind, if you will, what my, you know, kind of overall goal is is a polite way to say it. But, uh, you know, we're working, I'm working toward it. But at the same time, I got to do some infrastructure stuff like this. So this is good kind of like displays of, this is stuff that I would be working on offline, but now we have a bit of like an online uh, example of what I do. So let's see, 380, zero, and then move this over down like that. And then, yeah, that worked out perfectly. Just like that. So this way I have a backup and then uh, here's my idea here too. So this is where it kind of comes in. So I was thinking today of doing a audiobook reading. Um, I was thinking specifically of a recommendation from Al Talks um, concerning the uh, Edgar Allan Poe um, story. I think it's called The Fall of the House of the Usher or something like that. Um, and I was like, you know, I... I, I could probably read that. that. That'd be kind of a nice thing. Um, but uh, I didn't have the effort, energy in me to do all of that. And then I, as I was thinking about what I could do, I was like, why don't I just record this, show all of this? So that's what this is. And I feel pretty good about that. I feel like this is a good use of my time and your time. So, yeah. We'll do this, we'll do edit, not edit, we'll do, you know, I'm not going to do this for every time I make any kind of major change, but at least to show kind of how it's like to go in and, and like make major changes like this, I think it's pretty cool. So let's uh, do like template, um, and then let's do episode, let's do something a little bit different. So... This is where I would go, like, audiobook reading, since that was what I was kind of intending originally. So let's do that. So, uh, odd, D, um, this is kind of the best way, audiobook. As you see, I'm just kind of, like, faking it a little bit. Um, reading if there spells any funny words uh, don't mind it I oh here so see I'm already kind of going over but that's that's okay so I'll just do a few 
and see kind of where the the uh, numbers roll so it kind of is a self-correcting sort of a, an approach here as a zombie paper like so There is no polite way to center it, but I feel like that's good enough. Um, and let's uh, minimize this one so we can actually kind of see it. Yeah, so see it's off center. Good thing I checked. Um, so well, let's do that a little more on center here. Because I can, for one, make it centered, but the other one I need to make it off center. So that, that feels a little bit... That feels center enough. Um, we can confirm by doing this, by cutting one side, cutting the other side, or pasting the other side in, and doing something like that. So one and one. And then let's cut. Yeah, so there, there it is. Um, so audiobook reading by zombie paper, and then this is where I put in... Uh, the title of that so that that I'll put in as audiobook reading just like that and then if I want to do something like that then I have the the template already for it um, do I want to mix up the colors though I'll leave them that way it, there's a contrast there um, this all looks good um, as far as the Z rules being a little bit kind of floating wherever. Um, fortunately, that's just kind of how, how it rolls. Um, yeah. I think that'll be fine for right now. Not super worried about that. We'll lock it all down. And the thing like with the audiobook reading too is I was like, uh, I don't know what to do for the side panel. So that's something that I would uh, just mock up, have like a mock up for the side panel, but you know, halfway there, right? So minimize or hide that. So the uh, gold spin stuff, as you can see, it relies on the podcast. Um, and the way I did it was a little kind of cool, I would say, in that I, I was like, you know what? Why don't I just do it all in one uh, section? So that way, um, and this is why I wanted to have everything color coded and all that, as uh, that way we can show that is like a, a reading, editing kind of a thing. Um, but uh, have, because like I, you know, Goldspin and I, we can talk about other stuff here too, but primarily we're, we're talking about uh, moon so the moon is his uh his story about endless war stuff so why not just have it all in one go there um and that's where gold here has uh or the uh how do i phrase it uh, so that's where gold's avatar is over here along with uh, some some drinks so let's find a good way to edit to uh how do we phrase it to to kind of condense this down here so let's just do ew golds i think that'll be fine ew golds and then we have content warning so this one like like we'll do before we'll minimize all these and see which one's which as you can see, there are a lot of red man faces. Um, it's fun. <laughs> I'll just say it like that. Um, content warning text. So this is CW. We'll rename this to CW uh, Juvie. Kind of using the name <laughs> Juvie. Uh, this is going to be content. So this is a content warning um, DVD. Uh, let's just make sure that one unload image will not showing. 
So this is like an example of like a specific one that uh, we will not be talking about uh, endless war without talking about juvenile humor. That's just kind of in the game. So that's fine. Um, the text looks kind of weird here. So let's see. Enable anti-aliasing. Just look at that gnarliness. That is weird. Okay, let's fix, see if we can fix that a little bit. Um, well, first let's see. Okay, so the the grouping is good there. So for some reason, it just that's probably it was a little bit too small or something. I don't know. Um, then this one I'll put solo. And then we have uh, gold spin. We have uh, <laughs> a juvie humor, right? Good thing we have the content warning up. Um, but I I think it's funny. Like that that's the situation too, where it's like, is it is it funny because it's offensive, or is it funny because it's just like you would never see that product out there, um, and you would never see that product out there, so it's funny. Uh, you have Goldspin Writer, so we'll put in a uh, title. Uh, actually, here we got to do Gold, cup of Gold Title, and then Gold Avatar here. Gold Avatar. So all these three group together fairly nicely. Um, that works out well for me. You got Title, that works out well, so type gold spin into chat for the link to chapter one and more um yeah you know it seems fair um i'm going to be doing a lot of editing offline um once i get back into the endless war stuff um the short of it is that i i talked a little bit about this about like how i feel a little bit disconnected from the community but also, too, we're in the middle of a dream where we're going back to season one and just like, I don't want to relearn the game. I didn't really enjoy that one, to be honest myself, anyways. So, um, let's say. So, this story is, uh, takes, uh, has juvenile humor, is silly but is never, um, uh, what would the word, be abusive or abusive or harmful, I guess harmful would be good. So that way, you know, people can kind of know what they're getting into. Uh, so that's good. Uh, I can lock all these down since I'm, uh, going through and renaming them. So this is the also to the value of, of why these are named like this. So that way you, you kind of know like there was no real need to move, have uh, Endless War down there. So Endless War, this was the, uh, uh, during Pride Month, uh, I went in to check to see what kind of modifications for the um, Endless War, uh, Twitch page had for uh, the the only emote that they have right now is this one. So it's like, ah, okay, let me just modify that. So I had fun with that. Um, so we have all these red man faces in various sizes, various locations. I am okay with that number, that with that kind of system here. Uh, except I want to name which one's the big one. Okay. So, red man, six, big. Yeah, that's fine. And so this way we kind of have that sa same kind of naming convention. Everything fits. Everything has a place. And uh, I want to do the thing, too, that I talked about, of, like, shuffling things around a little bit. So let's do that after I put in all these. And... So we have, what I might do is I might 
yeah, why don't I just kind of like move Endless War here first, pin Endless War down. And then let's do the Juvie Humor. Let's move that down here. And then kind of move this around a little bit so that way uh, folks can uh, take a look and kind of see that at the bottom. That would be uh, to the left. And I wonder wonder if that's a decent color for it. Because I think the thing with the solo one is that the yellow didn't really work too well. So uh, I want to see. Yeah, black seems to work out better there. So that's good. Um, and for solo there, that one's fine. Uh, title. Let's see, Juvie. The white doesn't really sell it for me so how about blue there yeah that's that's good so let's lock it down um and let's do some shuffling so we got um what i might do is i might rearrange everything so based on the numbers there so we have one two three four okay so uh, I was uh, kind enough to myself back then. Anyways, where is number five? Huh, where is number five? Oh, right over here. Okay. Yeah. I think that's fine. Um, Because I could make that bigger. Kind of like obscure it more, but uh, I think that's fine. So let's re transform, reset to move that down here. So that way the branding isn't exactly clear. It's more of an endless war thing. So this one, yeah, this will be fine. Um, so we have, and then this one I'll rename to up. And this will be flip. And then number nine is side, rotate, there we go, and that's going to be side, yeah, something like this I feel is like a good way to Kind of make it a little bit different. And um, then we'll put upside down over here. Uh, I'll do this though. I'll do reset. I'll do upside down. Uh, I want to flip vertical. Yeah. So that way we have it kind of like that um, side. So there's side, transform, reset. That's going to be sideways, like so. And then what I'll do is I'll put big over here, super big. And we have flip, reset, flip transform like so and then this way we have big <laughs> I think that's gonna be funny big kinda like that So I don't know when I'm next going to be working on this one, but at least at least this is all refreshed now. And that's kind of my my main goal is to like at least kind of get things rolling. Um, yeah, in part because um, I still have plans to work on this, but it's going to be a while. Uh, so that's all unloaded. So theoretically, uh, I lock all this down. And then when I work on editing, or, you know, I might just use the same one for uh, 
when I work on the Endless War comic, then that will be good there. Um, but uh, I don't know. I'm thinking about all that stuff. Wait until after uh, we're back on season three, then into season four. Um, so podcast CYA. That one's a good one. Because there are various elements that I use and no longer use. So um, this one, we'll just go ahead and re recolor all of these, transform, uh, set color, custom color. And then I'll just apply that to all of these. And then we'll do set color, custom color over here. So let's start with content warning details. So this is something I was planning for a while, and I thought that was a really good idea, but now I've since modified it a bit. So I don't know if I'm going to still use this, but the basic idea is if we know we're going to be talking about controversial stuff, then why not just show it on the screen? So this this can be good for the moment. Uh, so how we'll do that is... Uh, so we have podcasts. So let's do something different. Let's do P C Y A and then uh, text C W text. So let's do something like that. So we have a small content warning, a big content warning. <laughs> uh, so the idea with the big content warning might be like if there's something that I need to censor or whatnot. Um, I don't know. I feel like maybe I can still use both of these. Um, this one. Yeah, I feel like because this almost feels better up here than to have the content warning stuff up here at the top or like something like this even so that way we kind of have this all sorted here especially when we have like like say healthcare and then we have uh, content warning transform reset okay so that's the regular version of it let's go Let's go see if I can reduce this down by half here. So we got uh, some noisy neighbors, but besides that, 145, 130, 65. Yeah, this this should be good. Yeah, if you hear the dog barking, that's the that's the neighbors. They're, you know, they're uh, they're a good bunch, right? Ah, <laughs> uh, yeah. This is why sometimes I'm like, you know, I I like recording, but I don't like the people side of things. You know, as much as I do like talking to people, sometimes there are just situations where it's just annoying. So let's put the Twitch Terms of Service. That one's really good. Uh, I like to cite this. I used to cite this text, but then instead what I've done is I've just gone to the website. So do I want to keep this? Uh, maybe you just have it kind of small like this. Um, I don't know. You know, it's like, this is the time to kind of look through my assets and see what I want to keep and what I don't. Um, and like some of these, like they don't, okay, they're, the plane's over here, so that makes sense. Curtains. I don't need a second set of curtains. Pointer. Uh, 
uh, the pointer comes in handy, but the pointer doesn't need to be on the CYA panel. So I think the pointer is wrong there. Set color clear. So yeah, I think leaving that there is good. Leaving the terms of service. Content warning, I add that one in custom. So I guess that means I forgot about this one up here. So, um, yeah, if I forgot about it, then uh, I, so if I, I, I'll remove this one, I'll remove the one I added in but I'll leave this one over here. Consent warning details, is sad, isn't happy. I feel like that's a good one to keep in. And we'll do something like this. So yeah, and then, so this is when I all figured out what was going on with the, uh, the slowdown. I was displaying both of those at the same time, uh, but displaying like 10 of them or nuking my computer. So I was like, ah, uh, Okay, I guess I can't render all these, but uh, I think having both of those is nice. Um, let's go unload, because the airplane one was something that I, I used to have, especially during the summer, but I don't need it anymore. I can always add it back in later. So let's, uh, let's do DVD colors. And then DVD, like that. Uh, the problem with the DVD colors is it is on the desktop. Um, but uh, I don't know. I can uh, I can move it around as needed. So we have uh, we have all this kind of cleaned up. So let's lock it down. And I feel like it's good to have it up here. Um, Actually, now that I'm thinking about it, I think the only time I have the content warning is regarding the two instances of the content warnings. Um, this one and this one. So let's go ahead and get the content warning. Um, content warning. And then I'll call this one colorful. And let's move that up into the theater. Okay, so then let's go in to theater. Let's go content warning. So that one's under theater, so that's fine. Yeah. So this one is going to be done off screen so I don't show my desktop. You know, it's not, it's not super embarrassing, but yeah, you know, if I don't have to kind of a thing, right? So there's that, that one's rolling. Um, then we got this one here. Same thing as before. Um, and we're gonna do colorful, okay. And then we got all that, so cool. Um, when I do that kind of sudden switch over, it does, um, does load uh, it does take a little bit of a lag and all that kind of stuff, so I'm not going to do a whole lot of that, but uh, I figure figure it's good. Good to kind of do that kind of a thing. So um, that's all good. Yeah. So next we have uh, Geo. And that's on the desktop there still. So I'm going to move that over. Uh, I don't need the podcast hosts, so let's close that text document. Um, but I do need to move this over into the theater. And then what I'll do is I'll do move this over and then go into theater. And I'll add it in there, Geo. And then what I'm going to do so we got this one and then I liked the idea of like I take a break but leave the uh, it was L talks and enchanted locket that both enjoyed 
seeing the zombie paper there. So, because they did the hydration break, and you could still see everything. So, you know, the the cool thing about um, doing online stuff, and this is why I do like do like uh, these sorts of uh, collaborations online. I dislike. You know, like my neighbors being loud. Like I dislike that because they're they're rude. Um, just straight up, they don't need to be so loud. Um, but they don't care. Um, they do whatever they want, and they don't get any they don't get any punishment because uh, uh, the people that report them to the office, the office just says like, "Hey, uh, quit quit yelling, and screaming. Uh, you know, quit your quit your domestic uh, situations." Um, so let's see, uh, kaiju, um, ZP. So because they don't really do anything, um, they get away with that. Their behavior is considered okay. Um, so we have to live with it, right? Um, overlay. So that is for the geography stuff. So let's go ahead and change the color to a custom color. So there is all that. I feel pretty good about this. So let's do that. So this one here broke. So OBS, OBS background three. So we'll do an image. Um, I want to put that in as the down at the bottom here, left monitor smile is what I want to call it. Image, and that's going to show over here. That's fine. And I'm going to show not on the screen, but where was that? Uh, actually, OBS, OBS dash background three. So you go into OBS. And where are you? OBS. Background three. Okay, and here I already see a problem. So let me show you the problem. So I did this one wrong. I should have done this with like the neon pink I was showing before. So that way the overlay would show correctly and all that kind of stuff. But, uh, uh, you know, you learn more, you grow more as a person, that sort of a thing. So we'll just, we'll see how much damage this does. So, um, we'll go move, we'll go move in over here. So here is the, the new smile that will kind of be the, if you will, like the sort of, uh, you know, taking in the corners so that way it, uh, or modifying the corners just enough to kind of be um, completely my own kind of a thing, if you will. Filters, add in the chroma key. Chroma key doesn't need to be a special color, magenta. So then arrange just a little bit and bam, that's pretty good. So let's uh, let's put that down here. And as you can see, it didn't quite do what I wanted to do here because uh, the the left side there is cropped out. And so I might even leave this just as a as a idea from the past that now we've kind of moved on from it and we'll discard it so discard that um so delete this one and so let's take a look here at the pointer do i want to put the pointer yeah let's leave it like that and let's call it at the top there pointer because i might need it for other things here. So um, as I work on more projects, closing out more stuff, I'll have more folders, but having all of that and then uh, doing like OBS dash dash pointer 
feels pretty good. Um, ideally, yeah, let's, let's move this down. Let's see how that feels. Okay, so that, as you can see, I needed to rename that. So let's do that, dash. So if we ever do talk about content warning stuff, I can just go ahead and uh, turn that on. Um, I'll do that. Yeah, so that feels pretty good. We got content warning, OBS, nice colors, red, orange, yellow, green, blue. And as I go, I can add, remove, that sort of a thing. I want to use this overlay as is for at least one broadcast. It looks like that yellow with the green did contrast in, in weird ways. So I'll, uh, I'll move this all over. I'll delete all of this as I proceed. So that way I, uh, I can kind of like each one do a little something different. I think that's a good way to go. And I suppose finally we, we return to the outro stuff where we just kind of like do a little bit of checking in on all of this stuff. So this is the ending text. This is the ending title. This is the outro spin, outro display, background. That all feels pretty good. So yeah, let's go ahead and do the last thing that I forgot to do before. Um, well, first I wanna go back in here. Um, go hosts. Um, kind of the thing, I like to put something in the corner here, but I don't know. Oh, I got an idea. Why don't I show this as well? Um, so let me show you when I go in and do something, uh, like for, for like this, this upcoming tomorrow's episode, the healthcare episode. So what I like to do is I like to go to earthbound, uh, like get some earthbound sprites and then add one in in the, in the corner. Um, so let's go ahead and do that here. Uh, I use a website here, videogamesprites.net, and then dot, uh, dot net slash earthbound. So we'll go ahead and do that here. Da -da -da, delete the other show notes, put this in, EV sprites. As far as like DMCA stuff, uh, Nintendo doesn't really care too much about uh, assets from several generations back, but uh, uh, you know, you use your best judgment. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna look for like a healthcare, uh, there are like some buildings and whatnot, building parts. So I'm gonna look to see if there's a, a uh, insert for the strobe there. I'm gonna look to see if there is a, and I'm going to do that off screen because I have to do a lot of the back and forth. Um, because there are bits that can relate, um, but this is a matter of finding that. So it's going to take a moment for me. And that way I can kind of show the full process there, the full, the full meal deal, what's all involved there. Because I was thinking I wanted to add in, like, uh, let's see signs. Because I could add in, like, the, uh, like, a doctor, a nurse, all those folks. But uh, I was kind of thinking about if, like, there are sign, signposts and all that kind of stuff. Uh, this website doesn't have it. But what I like about this website is that um, there are, uh, you can get like uh, animated sprites. So that works out pretty well for my needs. So let's see. I'm doing all this off screen, like I say, because I have to go back and forth and show like, uh, <laughs> and then plus two, I don't want to show spoilers. So townsfolk, let's see. Yeah, so here we have a doctor, healer, and so what I'll do is I'll just put 
these all in to the, uh, we'll put EB to keep them all kind of lined up. EB healer. And then what do we have here? Uh, mock pizza guy. <laughs> oh, we'll have fun. <laughs> the mock pizza guy is, is a healthcare worker. I'm, I'm amused by that. Arms dealer, bodyguard. Are we going to do, do stuff like that too? Uh, maybe. Um, hippie. I mean, why not, right? We got, uh, well, we have healer. So healer and hippie might be too similar. Um, who else? Who else? Yeah, nothing really. So I'm going to go back over here. So like I said, don't, don't strobe the screen too much. We have the nurse over here. Uh, as a nice kind of uh, nod to the, as a thank you to nurses, the way that the game is structured, you go to the nurse if you want anything. Uh, you go to the doctor if you just want to be told basic information. So I thought that was pretty cool. Um, so we have all these folks here. Um, nothing really selling me on like anything else there so that should be good for assets there so we have we have four assets so that that works out pretty well here so let's go in and let's go add in uh eb doc browse so here's a uh, uh so in obs i was planning the to have like the old uh this was back a way a while ago so this is like my old plans for obs for using obs including like i was thinking about becoming an affiliate until i realized like oh there's all this kind of stuff involved so uh and then so these are previous versions I've since kind of scrapped these but how how big are these okay not too big so th that's kind of interesting and uh, current game this was like going to be my um, I was gonna have like a, a screenshot gallery but I decided not to and that's the screenshot gallery that I was going with you know you you, you think of like ideas you try ideas this is going to be for Minecraft it was I did I did a few of those but that wasn't really too much of long term what I wanted. Uh, let's go uh, pop in over to theater. So back over here for no particular reason whatsoever. Don't worry, don't you worry. We got E B Doc hanging out over here down at the bottom. Then let's go add in image. Next one's going to be E B Healer. So if it's like a one off event, I don't really think too much of needing. All of that, although I might change the grouping after I've got all of this kind of added in. Um, and then next we got EB uh, mock. EB mock. I wonder though. That doesn't really sell me too much as like uh, a health worker whereas the mock pizza girl here as as the text says here kind of sells it a little bit more because like you have like healthcare workers the mock pizza guy uh so i think i think i want to redo this one a little bit so let's uh let's leave this he goes away um let's add in this one will go EB mock. Move that over and do the thing. EB. And then finally for EB nurse. Move that over and do EB nurse here. 
Yeah, so then what I want to do is I want to mix it up slightly so so that way we have kind of like this, that, as such there. Yeah. Um, uh, sorry for uh, spike in the mic there, I think. Um, transform, we'll do a group. And we'll do healthcare. Oh, I got an even better idea here. So we have we have these these folks over here. I could put them on either side there, just to kind of uh, like let's put the nurse o over there. This is for fun, right? You know that, that's what it's all about. It's to, just to kind of show like how how. Uh, how you can interact with stuff. I think that's really fun. Um, so let's see. Yeah. See, that, that I feel like that works out pretty well. So we have Doc. Move, move Doc up. Mock and Doc are not the ones I want. So transform, and then this is going to be center horizontally. Nope, that's the wrong one. I wanted to be a censure. Uh, <laughs> I would, like uh, <laughs> the limitations of my understandings, right? So then dock over here. So it's going to be vertical. Um, you know, you think I'm in my mid thirties? I should know. Uh, I should know center vertical by now, but you know, that's a thing. So, yeah, I feel like I feel like that's pretty good. Uh, let's go like this. So it's a little bit off there. I wonder why. Okay, so let's uh, move them up a little bit more. Okay. One, two, three. Yeah, just one more. I I feel okay, but not too great about that. So I want to move them out more. And this is the thing, too, that you don't really see too much of me doing this kind of stuff, but the effect is really cool. Yeah, so something like that and then something like this. So I think it's good to show these a little bit. So like show how I build stuff. Yeah. So let's go like that. Bring them back. Okay. So they're dancing at the same pace. So that's good. Um, we'll go mock. Put the healer on the other side. So that way it's a little bit kind of like there. Uh, let's go switch over Zelda and back and see what happens with this group. So you see how the grouping only shows like right here. Uh, I wonder. Okay. So all of them are affected. But they only show like right over here. So uh, weird. Uh, but don't worry about it. So let's put the healer over here. Because I might want to have the content warning on either side um yeah why don't we just do that from the top there um cya content warning text where's the text oh yeah because it's covered up by uh the there we go so i think that's okay we got Content warning, details, uh, healthcare. And then uh, this is good too for those watching the VOD. They can see the thumbnail there and see healthcare. And then they can see uh, um, healthcare isn't happy. Yeah. And then do I want to put in the small one on that side? Yeah, that's cool. Big one. I don't need that one. Terms of service, that one's good for prohibited content if we need it. 
fits there. Um, the color one is nice. I like that. So we'll keep that. Um, what else? What else? What else? Okay, so that's all there. That's all squared. And I also like, too, that it doesn't keep restarting. So it doesn't restart from scratch. Oh, it does. It does. Okay. I thought it wasn't. Maybe if it was a temporarily off thing. Hmm. Weird. It was It was acting differently before. Uh, I don't know. That feels fine. That feels good. Um, let's see. Why is this acting differently then? So is this one... Oh, okay, so we have this one down here. For some reason... It was working just fine before. <laughs> then it all kind of screws up. It, it, I swear, this, this program... If it weren't free, I wouldn't be a big fan of it. It's like there's no asset that is showing off screen that far away to where this whole thing, it shouldn't be like this. It shouldn't be off center like that. But the more you worry about it, the more it's going to get to you kind of a thing. So uh, let's do this. Let's put the color to podcast red. Put that over here. It doesn't need to be perfect. It just needs to get done. Like that. Uh, yeah. There's all that. Um, anything else here? Anything else I want to share? Uh, take a screenshot. Take a screenshot and see how that looks. Preview. No, I, I wanted to show the healer there too to show little bit of that so kind of grit get that kind of quick here yeah there we go let's see how that looks preview I feel like that's okay yeah I feel like that's pretty good so we have we have the title uh, I will figure out the logistics of, of how this all works tomorrow when I open up discord but uh, Everything else here looks okay. Everything else here works for me. Um, so thank you for listening. Thank you for uh, learning a little bit along with me about how OBS works. Um, I hope that this was informative for you. I would recommend this as uh, uh, advice, um, not best practice, but definitely good advice based on how much I've, I've noticed for problems with OBS. Um, dealing with multiple things um if you are just someone that you go back in like say this was it for your for your uh, overlay that you had this and that was it then you don't need to really deal with anything more than just like get everything all set up but uh the thing that i would recommend for anyone using obs is get familiar with it because it will fail on you uh when you need it to not fail and so knowing how to troubleshoot through it, uh, it's going to happen live. Um, the less you mess around with it, the less it happens. But still, you got to kind of know what tools you're using. And with that in mind, um, I feel like this is an effective overall uh, tutorial, lesson, training guide for both beginning and intermediate uh, levels of understanding relating to OBS. Uh, this is version uh, 26.0.2, uh, which is the final version for Windows 7. So when I migrate everything over to Windows 10, as in uh, do rebuilds, then I might do another one. Probably would do another re one, uh, depending on how different it is, if it's about the same. I don't really see the point. So, yeah. Um, I have been zombie paper. You've been listening to me tell you uh, 
some training stuff relating to uh, how OBS works, OBS cleanup two of two, uh, if you did not watch the first one. Uh, I don't know, go back and rewatch it, or watch it. Uh, you don't need to rewatch it. Um, I appreciate your time. So I will end this here, and thank you so much for uh, watching. Okay, uh, bye. <laughs> Uh, bye bye <laughs> there we go okay bye